We're Carlo and Nikki, and we live in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road, but it overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what it's really like living year round on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. Good morning. We are taking the dogs out for another walk. We're going with Fabrizio, which means it could be a giant expedition again. Maybe not so giant this time. We're off to find the lost village above Monte Petuso. Of course, before we start our hike, we have the 500 steps to tackle. <laughs> and then we need to get sandwiches at the shop as well. Sì, questo è il riscaldamento che facciamo ogni volta, così quando arriviamo sul sentiero siamo già belli caldi. Yeah. What are you going to put in your sandwich? Uh, formaggio e prosciutto e melanzane sott'olio. Mm. Buono. I think I'll have the same. Okay. Do we have to get one for Fabrizio as well? No, Fabrizio is no. a parata solo. Grande, quasi non si vede più. Eh, vedi, facciamo mamma mia. Guardate, ma ho avuto una lettera che si muoveva sempre. We're walking up to a place called Castagnolo, which is a group of houses way above Monte Petuso here that um, we lived in up until the beginning of the millennium, so around about 2000 ish. That was when the last people left there. And Carlo said that his, I see that his grandparents or his great grandparents, somebody used to live up there as well. Um, I did go up there about three years ago with Vito. We climbed up there one day and Vito made a fire and cooked a steak, uh, which we didn't have anything to eat. So we had to eat it with our fingers. Um, but yes, it should be easier to get there today because the old pathway to get there is not maintained by anybody. So it can get very overgrown and very brambly. In fact, last time we went, one of the houses was almost completely swallowed by brambles, which was a real shame. So we'll see how it is today. The only problem is to get there. It's pretty much uphill all the way. And you've got this staircase that is basically a zigzag going straight up the mountain here, uh, which is a killer. Probably about three or four mornings a week, I'm trying to do exercises at home, like a cross between yoga and Pilates and body weight and stuff. I manage about 20 minutes, but I just get so bored. Honestly, <laughs> there's not really any classes I can join here for that sort of thing without um, taking an hour to get to them and an hour getting back, pretty much. So it's not worth doing that also because I'm gonna be going soon anyway, but I'm trying my best. Probably not as good as some other people, but it's probably better than others. Every little helps. They keep stopping and talking. It's like they can't walk and talk at the same time. Fabrizio, ma oggi che Niki ha le scarpe giuste, è molto più veloce di noi. Sì, oggi sì. È andata molto avanti, non la vediamo più. <laughs> it's 
Celine FaceTimed me, so I've been chatting away to her and I started walking and I walk quite fast and I've left the guys way, way behind. Um, I can hear them now actually, so they're catching up with me. But there's this little abandoned old building here and I thought I'd quickly... There are probably more abandoned little buildings up in the mountainside than you would expect because the road is still quite a new thing. I mean, even when I arrived here in 1999, I remember going to the opening ceremony of the road from Montepetuso to Nocella and they just finished building it then. So before that, anybody who lived in Nocella had to walk from Montepetuso and um, it was quite a long walk along this little pathway that has now since crumbled. So there are quite a lot of buildings up here because people would live up in the mountains and just use the mountain trails and they'd be pretty much self-sufficient and hardly ever come down into town really. Fabrizio, com'è la vista di là? Bellissima! A little detour. Where are they going? Okay, we are now on one of the old pathways that lead to Castagnolo. Now these pathways, as I said before, they're not taken care of anymore. So there's a lot of fallen trees here. And um, one time Carla and I had to turn back. A little bit of a steep drop here, but I don't feel like I'm going to topple off the edge, so. <laughs> Are you stuck? Oh. I was scared that if I sat on it, it would slide all the way down to the football pitch. Okay. So it's just too hard to get past this and it will hurt Holly's little tummy. So we're going to go back up. So now I've got to climb back over that thing. <laughs> Ow! So here there's a little cave with a statue of the Virgin Mary. And a place to sleep if you don't make it down the mountain in time. <laughs> now you can just about see that there's some old steps here, but they're pretty much buried under leaves and fallen trees. Carla was just saying that there's no way you could get through here in the summer. It's definitely only something you can do in the winter these days. Years ago it would have been all clean because they would have used this. So we've come to another dead end, that is the pathway, and there's no way we can get through that. So we're going to have to go back again. We've tried the two pathways now, and the only way to get there is to, what, to do what me and Vito actually did last time we went, is to go up to the Caserma Forestale, which is like a shepherd's hut with a, with a, where Carlo lost his drone a while back. 
um, and we can climb down the mountainside from there. There's no pathway, but we can go down the mountainside. So we're going to try and... Trinkies! You all right, Holly Paul? You're a trooper, aren't you? See, they can't walk and talk. So we are way, way higher than we need to be now. If you look down there, you can see one house there and one house there. And then there's another one in here. It's incredibly overgrown. See, I don't even know how to Fra un po' cadrà a pezzi. In questi due minuti lasciamo il punto della situazione. Eh certo. Allora io credo. È un peccato però. È proprio impossibile. So we have concluded that it's going to be pretty much impossible to get there. Um, which is a real shame. But what I'll do is I will find the video that I did with Vito. <laughs> yeah, there's three. There's three houses. Um, one of them is really interesting. Quello indietro sembra proprio interessante da vedere. So I'll find the footage that I did with Vito and I'll add that here. Um, it's incredible how much the mountainside has overgrown in the last three years. I mean, it's completely different from what it was when I came with Vito. We have arrived at the Caserma Forestale and we're going to plant the other little tree down here. Yeah. Because also Vito reckons he can see it from his house down there and check on it with his binoculars. And then he comes down by the way that it's rather overgrown. But it's definitely a pathway because look, these are definitely steps. <laughs> Amazing. Most challenging one. This looks a bit mm. We'll see if we can go through it. Otherwise we might have to go around it. You still feeling courageous to go down? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we have just zigzagged down this. There's no pathway. Well, there used to be a pathway, but there wasn't a pathway. And we've found our way down. <laughs> We're nearly where we want to go. <laughs> and we've nearly arrived at the mysterious abandoned hamlet of Castagnolo. Whoever it is that owns this land, come on, get up here and sort it out. Give it to us. <laughs> <laughs> so I am listening. <laughs> All you need to clean up here is just about... Uh, just a lawnmower? You no, know, 10 goats and uh, sheep and uh, you just leave them here for, you know, a good month and they will clean it all up for yeah. you very quickly. There's loads of chestnut trees around here and we found another little abandoned building. It's so close, but we're so crowded with brambles. <laughs> 10 more meters. <laughs> We are on the roof of the house. I'm sort of scared to go forward. But if it can take his weight, it can take my weight. Um, it's completely overgrown down there. There's no way we can get down and even walk around underneath. It's just brambles everywhere. Il giro al contrario, visto che siamo qua, da qui sì. possiamo andare a Santa Maria Castello. Sì, e scendiamo dai tese. O vai là o vai dall'altro lato, esatto. escludendo la salita. Cioè, lo, ci, ci fanno tutte le salomerie. Ci, ci, ci stanno posti dove non ci stanno più le salomerie. Ehi, 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 ehi,
Uh, it's quite normal that a load of locals will come up here and turn the grill on and have a barbecue and have a big picnic and that's what's happening. We have a few of the San Pietro staff members <laughs> just arrived with <laughs> bottles of wine and all sorts of things. How many bottles of wine have you brought up uh, with you? <laughs> uh, I think too many, too many. <laughs> Would like some? No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And Pepper's also given us some kiwis that have grown in his garden and they're perfectly ripe and ready to eat. Apple. Apple. Grazie. Uh, for me, for Lorenzo. For you, for you. So fun. Yes, I'll find it for the difference between. Un panino e è tutto di Okay, we've decided we're going to leave these guys to have their lunch. We are going to head up towards Nocelle. Um, we're going to go across the landslide, which happened about 15 years ago, and then down to Nocelle, and then we'll walk back down the road. So it's really hard to sort of show you from here where we're going, but we're going to walk up this path here. And that's going to take us all the way around there. Where's Nocella, you're saying? Let me show you. Down there. It's bello che mi sto tirando, <laughs> These are the bits of pathways that I don't like. There used to be a railing here at one point, but it's long gone. Oh dear me. In realtà c'è un sacco di spazio qua, sembra stretto. Ma, ma c'è tanto tanto spazio. Uh! <laughs> Stavo scherzando! Ma scemo! Non sono so funny. Not funny. <laughs> Ho fatto una finta, amore, no, scusami! Not <laughs> non ti arrabbiare! <laughs> oh, it's so funny! Wait! Don't leave me alone! Aspetta, amore, ma che cazzo, ma che è? Che c'è Sky? Sì? Ma, ma le liste sono state comprate? Sì, non lo so mamma dove le ha messe, ma eh, Niki l'ha trovata e la Alice l'ha comprata l'altro giorno. Quello dove c'è il vino e olio e brodo, sopra il forno. Sopra il forno, dove c'è quello... Sopra il... Ok? Ok, ok. Ciao. Aspetta. Are you ok? Not too much? Mm. Okay. It is pretty dangerous here. Ecco qua. Nessuno vorrebbe cadere qua sotto, altrimenti sarà morto. Quella è la frana che è caduta anni e anni fa. Fortunatamente è un posto dove non ci sono, non c'è niente sotto, nessuna casa, quindi nessuno è stato in pericolo. There is a pathway that was actually swallowed up by that, but you can clamber over the rocks. Now they look tiny from here. You won't believe it when we get there how big those boulders are. <laughs> We are now on the landslide and these are how big those little tiny stones actually are. Thank you. 
Renzo va giù, giù, eh? non posso che ti prendo. Qua pure sto bruciando. Quello, quello fresco, il dio che ne ho. This has always been an interesting, mysterious place over here. We are on our way down now towards Nocelle. My legs are getting rather wobbly. I'm going to put my hat on so my hair doesn't go. Oh, I can't do that with one hand. <laughs> I'm not wearing my hat because it's cold, I'm wearing it because it just keeps my hair out of my face. Mi fanno male un po' le cinocchia qui. Sì. E la discesa, la salita non mi fa niente. Going down is really tough on the knees. We'll probably pay for it when we're older. Quindi sembra che sta benissimo invece. Guarda qua che cane fiero e attento. E no, è prima cosa. We're making a plan. For the next. Long excursion. Sounds like it's going to be a really long one. <laughs> Might skip it. <laughs> Might stay home on the sofa with a book and a cup of tea. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? And we're back in civilization, just about at the very top of Nocelle. Ricky, ma tu ti sei accorta di tutte quelle pietre che sono cadute giù là? Quattro e mezzo. Vogliamo sedere qua e aspettare il tramonto? Oh. Oh. 